summer 2017. A cast of political operatives gathered to put the finishing touches on the plan to ensure a solid Jason Kenney victory in his bid to lead the UCP. It was Jeff Calloway's house, former Wild Rose Party president and the man ready to torpedo his own leadership bid for Kenny. Tonight, new allegations from two of the men present, taken directly from transcripts of their interviews with elections investigators probing the Calloway campaign. Cam Davies, a communications expert, and Hardeel Happy Man, a political power broker in Calgary's South Asian communities. Recruiting political power? scientist That's Dwayne Bratt has but read the interviews. Indeed. They've got him meeting with Callaway and more importantly discussing money. This was carefully orchestrated from the beginning. Davies told investigators Jeff's campaign was to run kind of a dark horse campaign. Jason Kenney's negative numbers were too negative to be able to start slinging against anybody. So Callaway's job was to attack Kenney's closest political rival, Brian Jean. And according to Cam Davies, a political strategist with the Callaway campaign, Jason Kenney was delighted. He was laughing and drinking all night. He was very appreciative of the fact that Calloway was willing to do this. Davies quotes Kenny saying, I don't want to know the details. You guys coordinate it with my team. It turns out running a sham campaign isn't against electoral law, but funding it with irregular donations is. So investigators wanted to know where that money came from and who knew about it. According to organizer Happy Man, also present that night, money was of little concern. He first quoted Jason Kenney as telling the group, don't worry, funds will come. Separately, Cam Davies corroborated the group discussed money with Kenney present. Don't worry about it, it will be handled, we'll raise money. I went to seek his endorsement. Those accounts, which have not been tested in court, are in stark contrast to what Kenney has claimed about his involvement. I was, uh, had absolutely no, no knowledge whatsoever about how they financed their campaign. It didn't seem plausible. Political scientist Dwayne Bratt says the two interviews contradict Kenny's denial. Now you've got two people, independent of one another, saying that Kenny either said money's not the problem or was in the room when money was being discussed. So we need a platform, I believe. Certainly, Jason Kenny was grateful for Jeff Calloway's sacrifice. When he left the race, Kenny presented him with a bottle of Alberta dark horse whiskey. The political metaphor wasn't lost on anyone. Jason Kenney's office told CBC News they weren't familiar with the newly discovered documents and his previous statements on the matter stand. More than $200,000 in elections-related fines have been levied in the case. The RCMP continues what it calls a complex investigation into the funding of Callaway's campaign, as well as voter identity theft in the same leadership race. The Premier's office won't say whether Kenny has been interviewed or asked to be interviewed in either investigation. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.